Hello everyone, Aaron here. So today's video is going to be very different from what you expect me to do for MVP Base 2005. So today, I'm going to show you some how I edit some of my players or create. Because let me show you guys something real quick. So suppose that you go into the free agency, you know, as all these custom players. Here's something you should know. You can edit majority of the stuff on there, as well as their name, their appearance, and birth date. But you can't edit their height. So that part is kind of important to know. Basically, you could just look at all the other players on here. And then you can, if you've got a name you want to change up, you can go there. This also can help you from that creative player limit. So that way you don't have to worry about the limit of players you create. Now with that out of the way, let's go to some of the players I did create. So we're in located player here where I did actually create players from scratch. I made Leo D. Traveris, Joe Adell, Jonah Heim, Nathaniel Lowe, Josh Young, Marcus Simeon, Corey Seager, Adolis Garcia, Mike Trout, Carlos Stanton, Aaron Judge, not my best I know, Jacob DeGrom, Garrett Cole, Tanner Hugh, recently made him, Kirby Yates, Juan Soto, Reed Dimbers, uh, and that's pretty much all the plays I had, I made so far. Now we're gonna, sh now I'm gonna show you what some of those guys look like in their stance. Start with Leo De Traveras. This is okay. I'm gonna, my camera guy's gonna be moved over a little bit, so I apologize. This is Leo De Traveras. He is a a Texas Rangers center fielder, always bats in the ninth spot, and he always has an elbow, like a little elbow guard and shit guard to help protect himself from any ball that could possibly hit him or if a foul ball goes up on him. It's not the best, but it's also worth it. I chose the gen I chose the generic stance because, well, that's basically the stance I think he's more accustomed to in real life. Yes, I did 100 out of everything. You'll understand that I like to make it 100% power at every hitter, so bear with me. This, all right, this guy is Joe Adele. Joe Adele is a right fielder for the Los Angeles Angels, or Anaheim made it used to be called. He has an elbow guard, a shin guard, just like, just looks like he does in real life. And something else I want to point out, he has thick wristbands on him as well. So he always has, has that on him when he is up. It also has regular socks as well. I usually do my research when I make these players. So I'm not going to probably say I show every single star on here, but I have just shown some of the ones I did make for highlights. This is Jonah Heim. Jonah Heim is a catcher for the Texas Rangers. He's a little bit thicker than you would expect, but the reality is that they don't have much many options with weight in MVP baseball. A little disclaimer here. He also is a switch hitter and a very powerful hitter as well. And he uses a Jim Tomey stance as well. So that makes, and he also uses like the regular low socks, which means they go past his ankles. So that's a little fact for you guys. This is Nathaniel Lowe. He wasn't the hardest to create. He had elbow guard, a guard, and a shit guard, as well as having the, the little bit of a brush mustache a little bit. So makes him stand out a little bit from other guys. He also... He also uses the Sean Green batting stance. His arms are more, his arms spread are a little high. With the bat, he spreads his legs wide. May not be the best batting stance for him, but it's the best I could come up with that based on the limited options I have. He also has reg uses regular, so he does. So that's how you see a bit of the stirl up underneath the ankle. Yeah, and I don't mention the bat and glove because I that's I usually look it up a lot. For information. Josh Jung wasn't hard to make because because I actually knew about his stance before I made it. He has more of a upper stance of Brett Boone. Kind of stands up straight, bat back and everything, and then he whacks it. He doesn't have a shin guard, but he has an elbow guard and wears high socks when he plays third base for the Rangers. Marcus Simeon. I don't really need to say much for him. Elbow guard, generic stance, low socks, no wristband really. But besides that, he is a pretty awesome guy to create. He's also a second baseman and shortstop. So making him wasn't hard to do. It just was pretty easy to make, make him based on appearance. I'm definitely probably going to get a lot of backlash for this one because of the stance of Corey Seager. But here it is. Corey Seager, elbow guard, low socks. Has a Lou 
Garrick batting stance in this game because what I've done is when he stands up, he has his back kind of like dipped down a little bit and then he rears up in gears and it goes around and just whacks it. Again, 2005 for MVP baseball was definitely interesting, but I think it was worth it. Gave him a goatee on the chin, so I think I did a good job here with this one, even though it was pretty hard to do. Adolis Garcia. Now this guy was a little tough to do as well. The stance uh, I'm going to show is Ryan Klesko's stance. Raise his arms up. His left leg is open a little bit, which is how he is in real life. And he kind of bends his knees a little bit more than the stance does, but it's still worth it. He sometimes might do either regular or high socks, but I'm currently, I think I'll go back to uh, regular for now because that's kind of the main thing, but sometimes he does high socks for rally. Maybe I'll change that in some videos, who knows. Now this is Mike Trout. Mike Trout is a center fielder for the Angels and he has an elbow guard made it, that made him very powerful. Now his stance is also Ryan Klesko, so might need to change it up a little bit. Call below if you guys know a stance that will be fitting for him. Maybe he doesn't have much of an open stance. It's more maybe like Andrew Jones or something like that. I don't know. But I, I think I did pretty good with him. Super plus center fielder. Hope he recovers from injuries soon. Garcarlo Stanton. Now, you might be a little curious about this one. But if you notice when he bats, he kind of bats in an angle that's, that his back is shown. So I went with an Eric Chavez stance. Yes, I gave him all the powers. Aaron attributes, but that's I kind of rolled with it. it. I'm gonna fix his glove a little bit though. And he has an elbow guard, he has high socks. So and he's pretty skinny now too. So again, though the way in the, everything was very limited. If EA didn't make that deal with Madden or they didn't make that those changes, they probably would have had more options and they probably would have rivaled MLB the show. But hey, that's par life. Here comes the judge. With an elbow guard and a shin guard, Aaron Judge has a 6'7 figure with a big bat, and he has the high socks. He has the Hideki Matsui stance, which makes him is it very interesting for him to hit. Yes, I know someone you commented I gave him 99 speed, but reality is I may try to give everyone a, like the best the abilities. Even with that though, they could still lose a game though because it's all about well the timing, and that's how baseball is sometimes. This one, I'm going to need to work on a little bit. I'm not going to focus too much on the stance this time. I'm going to focus on pitching. This is Jacob deGrom. Now, I had to do a little research on Baseball Solvent. That's a that's a website that helps with pitchers. And looking at the velocity of some of his pitches and everything helped me a lot when it comes to how he delivers his pitches. So that, and I chose the, I chose the style two on MVP Baseball because that's kind of like how he pitches a bit. He doesn't keep his leg above his glove like Nolan Ryan does, but he does use use it for the deliveries he has, so that way it make it easy for people to to know that he's pitching. But sometimes they don't predict his pitches. So that's Jacob DeGrom for you. He bats left-handed and throws right. So I kind of had to go with the with open stance instead of instead of like regular stance. So. Garrett Cole, some of you might say I need to work on him a little bit, but here we go. Garrett Cole also has style 2 when he pitches, and like usual, use Baseball Solve it to figure out his velocity, which helps me a lot, and and also know what pitches he throws. I look very hard to know what pitches he throws a little bit. He's also, now, I know there's he doesn't show the long, bushy hair that he's known for, but then again, though, unless you're like Johnny Damon in this game, which they did show the long hair from him. You gotta be able to, you gotta be able to be known for that. So he, I kind of went with uh, normal for him because I, I didn't really want to focus too much in hitting for pitchers and sometimes. Oh, but then, then again, that could, I might change it up for you guys. Uh, mm -hmm. and let's get, get rid of that. Get rid of that and put in the hot zone. There, that's better. Tanner Hyuk was a, is a recent one. I haven't debuted him in my series yet, but he's not exactly a fast pitcher compared to the other pitchers, but he does make up for, for his nasty pitches that he has, including a splitter and a cutter. Pretty interesting to put him in the same velocity. Just hope he doesn't hurt his elbow when he pitches, though. That 
could be bad. He wears 89, which is an unusual, unusual high number for a starting pitcher. But hey, if you'd like the number, gotta roll with it. Kirby Yates, a current relief pitcher and closer to Rangers. Now, he has a fastball. He only has three pitches. Fastball, splitter, and a slider. But I think that's all he really needs whenever he's pitching in a game for the Rangers. He wears 39, and I actually looked up his glove color, and you notice it's actually red. So, he has... So, I did my best for style 6 delivery. So, let me know if you think it's the best one for him. So, yeah. Juan Soto. Now, this will be interesting. I had to go with a generic 3 stance because... When he bats, he kind of has the bat dangling. He has a very, he leans down a lot when he bats. Now I have noticed recently that he doesn't wear the high low sauce. He more has high sauce, so I'll change that for you guys. Juan Soto also is, the, is a right fielder for the Yankees, which is why Aaron Judge is mainly a center field. Center field, excuse me. This is Reed Demers. He's a current native pitcher, and he has more of a style three pitch delivery. And I did my best to. I might need to fix the stamina a little bit, so raise it to 99, because why not? And he also has decent control of his fastball, velocity, fastball a little bit, just need to fix that a little bit. I don't know, I feel like I need to fix a lot of this stuff. Because I think all I did was put it is, put in like the pitches, but I didn't really do the best on the control and everything, so I really need to fix that a little bit. Just fixing things up for you guys, so apologies. Yep, he only has four pitches, but I did so by the way hard to do my research on him. Hope you guys enjoyed that part. That's the end for the mainly creative players part part. I did show the beginning that we they use ed players for agency, so let me show you some. I'm not gonna show every single one. This is Travis Dinkowski. He's a current outfit utility player for the for the Rangers. And he has the Brett Boone stands because I know he stands up a little bit. Then he leans over, hits a home run. He hits for content more than power. But hey, sometimes you just gotta roll with it. Evan Carter. He has a bit of a smaller elbow guard and shit with the shit guard, but he also, to me, has more of a head deck in my two he stands. Kinda goes down, keeps back up a little bit, then he whacks it hard. Has a regular socks. So yeah. Nathan Evaldi. Nathan Evaldi is up. He wears I know he has long sleeves, but then again, you only wear long sleeves whenever you're, whenever, for example, you are in the rain. But he had, I had, based on what shows his face, basketball, or had a pitch velocity at a certain number, so I had to roll with that. And, yeah, I, the style I used for pitching was a style three. Kind of just a normal stance, store pitching, and then boom, just go roll with it. Jose Leclerc. He is the pitcher for the Rangers, and I kind of made Stamina low on purpose because he's a middle re reliever. But he also has a has a good pitchy perform pitches and throws some decent heat. And he also has a lot of pitches than most relievers do for the baseball solvent. This is Jose Soriano, a relief pitcher for the Angels. Once again, never had a debut with him in my series yet, but. He makes up for his pitch delivery and throws some serious gas. So be careful with him. He has a fastball. He has a sinker. He has a curveball. And he has a splitter and a slider. A lot of pitches for a reliever. He did become a starter before. But he's a reliever right now. Corbin Carroll. He currently has a Joe Morgan stance. Might need to change him up. Not the best with the facial hair. And you obviously don't have the long hair. But that's, again, a limitation of baseball. And he also has... If a good feeling glow, has red, elbow guard, and shin guard. Comment below if you think I should do a better stance for him. If that's not the right one, let me know what you think it will be. He kind of has his back towards the pitcher as well, though. That's why I kind of went like that. And he kind of bends down. And Eric Chavez stance, what I used for Carl Stanton, doesn't really do that. Zach Gallon. I had to... He does There obviously is no glasses option, so I apologize. But he is known for his... For some of his pitching and he also is known for having a knuckle curve as well as a changeup and a cutter and a sinker so he has a good variety of pitches the limit on pitches is five not six so that's the video game logic for you guys well guys that's um i surprisingly did all the players i created so far and that was a lot of players but if you guys like it please comment below 
and tell me what players you think I should create in a base you know, 2005. It's, it might be a lot to do, but I got my work cut out for me. Maybe in the future, I will make the entire roster MVP base 2024 without having to use like mods or anything for the Xbox. I'll see you guys in the next video, though. Keep in, stay, stay tuned. God bless you, Rock. Don't forget it.